frozen sugar, salt on the rim. The classic margarita is an iconic cocktail adored by so many. So today, this National Margarita Day, we are honoring the drink. Joining us today to take us through the secrets of making a perfect classic margarita is Meg Silvis from Blanco Cocina, and that is in Oak Brook. So, Meg, uh, happy National Margarita Day. Happy Margarita Day. Okay, so take me through the traditionalist. What what do you need in your margarita? All right, so you want to start with citrus, right? Mm -hmm. Always citrus. We make our house sour, um, and with that, we have lime, some orange juice, coconut water, so it's really light, bright, and refreshing. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to start off with doing three ounces of that. Now, you do have a little bit of wiggle room with this, right? Feel free to get creative with it, but this is how we like to do it. Okay. I like creative. Yeah. I like right. wiggle room. Wiggle room, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our perfect ratio of Jose Cuervo Especial mm -hmm. and our Naranja liqueur. And we're going to do 2.25 ounces of that. Okay, what is that last part you said? Naranja liqueur. So typically okay. you'll see a triple sec, but for us we mm -hmm. like to use the naranja. It's a little bit of an elevated spirit. Okay. It's really nice, brings out the orange, complements all of that citrus that we're putting in there. Elevated is like what I like to call a corporate garbage word. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. Like it can elevated. be. So, I mean, triple sec is kind of your, your standard, right? Triple sec is your standard, yeah. yeah. So, this has so a little, how is this elevated? This has a little bit more orange flavor, a little less syrup. Okay. So, it really lets the tequila and the beautifully fresh juices shine. Okay, I love that. Yeah. And so, this is traditional, traditional, because I know these hippie dippies with their... You know, I call it hippie mustard, their uh, sriracha and whatnot. They get into the mezcals, the this and that. Do you guys dabble in that? Or Absolutely. You guys... Okay, yeah. yeah, go for that, it. Because, I mean, it's really, hey, whatever, whatever hits your taste buds, right? Yep, exactly. We have so much more knowledge of these spirits these days and so much more wiggle room mm -hmm. to do all of these really wonderful, beautiful, and creative things. So okay. why not? Go for it. Yeah, all right, Meg. Hit, shake it up. All Hit right. It. So, I mean, what's a typical shake? You got the Tom Cruise shake. <laughs> That's really good. You're Not doing, doing any cocktail flair today, right. but I maybe next like time. Yeah. All right. Wow, it looks delicious. Yes. I can smell it. But my boss is going to, we, we have a no, I have a no, we have a no alcohol policy here. I, like, like, like I'm going to lose my credibility. I think I've already <laughs> lost my credibility many, many times over. So then, so this is what you've got. It smells delicious. And then you've got like a couple, I mean, of your classic pairings. You guys do a lot more than margaritas uh, down at Blanco Cochina, right? Yes, absolutely. So here we have our barbecue pork tacos. We've got a house-made slaw, mm -hmm. pickled onions that we make in house yeah. as well. I mean, I like uh, uh, goes great with a classic uh, margarita. Yeah. Uh, and then we also have our chicken pastor. Both of these are a little bit of a modern mix on Mexican food, um, but we do make everything in house. Everything is from scratch. Both of these items are are on our happy hour menu along with our classic margarita and frozen margaritas. I mean, that's what I call a happy hour. Right? And what, do, what do we have here? We have so, a gathering of... Yeah, so here we have a few other options. We do actually have our non-alcoholic margarita here. Mm -hmm. So we have something for everybody. We also have a uh, fresca here, agua fresca. This is our strawberry clementine. So fresh strawberry puree, clementine juice that we make in-house every day, um, and a little bit of soda water. It's really light, bright, and refreshing for those who don't want to drink and still alcohol? fun. Is There's no alcohol, alcohol in drink? there. You okay, can go for can it. Drink it. <laughs> no, it's light. Right? Yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's not too sweet, not too overpowering. It's a really yeah. nice option for those who aren't drinking. And then last but not least, we have our skinny margarita, which has a rose and el elderflower liqueur in it. So even though you don't have as much sugar in there, you still have as much flavor. Okay, excellent. Meg, you've been an absolute delight. Did your great over-the-shoulder shake. We appreciate that. Meg Silva from Blanco Cocina and Catina in Oak Brook. Thank you so much. Cheers, you. Cheers and happy Margarita Day. Happy great margarita having day. you in. Thank you.